Shalom. First and foremost, giving God praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shah's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, after being in captivity for more than 400 years and being woken up to the truth, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, starting with, you know, Elder Abba Bivens to King Masha. High Priest Ariyah, you know, Elder Yaquab, to our apostles that we see today, you start to realize that the reason why we went into captivity is because of our lack of discipline. You know, and our people, our people want to stay in bondage the reason why our people want to stay in bondage is because they despise discipline and not just any old discipline. They despise the discipline of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, now and again, you know, the reason why we went into captivity is because we despised the discipline of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So our people, they do not want a, um, a, a, a rulership, you know, where the earth is ruled in righteousness. The earth that, that is ruled under the righteous discipline of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And where can this righteous discipline of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai be found at? In the Holy Scriptures. Okay. But without fear, discipline or learning discipline is basically a vain thing. You know, that's just like monks, for an example, you know. When, when monks train to be monks, they learn a healthy amount of fear so that they learn not to break their code of honor so easily. Because they, they, they learn that if they, break, if, they, if they break a certain code of honor, there's a, there's a punishment for it, you know? You see, Pain and fear is how you learn discipline. Now, I gave some examples in my last video. When you did something as a child that, that, that was displeasing to your parents, you got your ass whipped for it. So then you learned not to do it again. And why is that? Because of the fear of, 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 of because of the fear of, of feeling the pain uh, of feeling that belt hit, hit hit your backside. So pain teaches you fear. And fear is how you learn discipline. The reason why there's a lot of nigglets spawning up in this generation is because when they were a child, they did not get their ass whooped like they were supposed to because Esau don't pass a lot of laws, you know, making it illegal for you to punish your own child. So now your child grows up thinking they could just do whatever the hell they want. You see, I give reverence to my parents because when I was a child, I got my ass whooped a lot too, you know? I grew up having <laughs> I grew up having to learn the hard way, you know. Oh boy, I was afraid to come home with with, with a, a a bad report card from school, 
because I already know, man, that leather belt was was sitting in my mom's hand. And she was she was she was looking for a reason to whoop my ass. Okay. So when you got your ass whooped when you was a child, you learned not to do certain things. And that's where discipline comes in. A part of discipline is learning how to restrict yourself from doing particular things. You know, through discipline, you learned, you learned not to do particular things in the house that your parents did not want you to do. Otherwise, you knew you was gonna get your ass whooped for it. You know, the, 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 the fear of getting your ass whooped is, is, what's, is what stopped you or, or prevented you from doing particular things in the house. You know, you learn to restrict yourself from, from doing those things because you knew, you knew that your, your parents would whoop you, you know? So through fear, you learn discipline. And because our people have no fear of the heavenly father or, 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 or his son, they feel like they don't have to abide by the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And that's why they feel like they can just eat whatever they want. You know, they feel like they don't have to abide by what the heavenly father and his son said what to do and what not to do. You know, you know, it's a lot here for going on a rant there, but this is the definition of discipline from google.com, okay? And here, what do we see? Okay, discipline, it says, the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. Okay, and, and this kingdom that we're living in known as America, this is a bastard kingdom because this kingdom allows people to be raised to where they can do whatever they want with little to no punishment. And that's the problem with this kingdom. This kingdom lacks punishment. Okay, if a woman commits adultery, do she get punished for it? No. If women got punished for committing adultery, there will be a, a lot less adultery going on in this kingdom. You see what I mean? If a man wanted to be a homo, he was supposed to get punished for it. Okay? But guess what? Because of the lack of punishment going on, you know, there's, there's a lack of fear for, for, for wanting to be a mo. A fruitcake. You know? And, 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 and punishment is not supposed to be a joyous thing. It's supposed to teach you a lesson not to do it again. You know? All these Jakes going around committing murder, they gang banging, they smoking, they being disobedient to their parents. Why? Because of the lack of punishment going on in this kingdom. Okay, women feel like they can walk around and do whatever the fuck they want. Why? Because of the lack of punishment that's going on in this kingdom. Okay. How many women do you know would hit a man or get up in a man's face or run off her mouth to a man if she knew that she could be punished for it right then and there by the exact same man of whom she offended and, 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 and no one would come to help her? You see, a lot of women would be afraid to get up in a man's face or hit him 
okay? If she knew that he could hit her ass and whoop her ass and nobody would come to help her, not even the police. Because the punishment for a woman hitting a man is he's supposed to whoop her ass because that's out of order. A woman is not supposed to just hit a man and get away with it. But you see, because of the lack of punishment that goes on in this kingdom, women feel like they can just do whatever the fuck they want. And that's why I call this the bastard kingdom. Okay? A male who grows up without being punished or, 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 or knowing what fear is to restrict himself from certain things, that dude's a fucking bastard. And this kingdom is a bastard. This is a queendom. So this kingdom lacks discipline. Okay? People getting punished for all the wrong things. You know, if a man hit a woman, he going to jail. When, when it should be the other way around, she should be going to jail. You know? If a man commits adultery with a woman, you know, he's supposed to be put to death. No, it's the other way around in this society. He gets a slap on her wrist. You know, and a matter of fact, he gets to live the next day to, to brag about what he did to his neighbor's wife and to his neighbor. So this kingdom lacks punishment. It says a branch of knowledge, typically one study in higher um, education, train someone to obey rules. You know how you train somebody to obey rules? You train them by, by, by giving them pain. Pain is how you get people to obey rules. Okay? And, and, and I'm just coming out straight with it. Pain, pain is how you get people to obey rules. Okay, that's how you train somebody to obey rules. You train them, you train them through pain. Even if it's mental pain. You know, if your child if, if your child want to act up, if, if your child refuse to obey the rules of your house, you know what you do? You take away his PlayStation. You take away all of his favorite video games. You lock him up in your closet somewhere. Tell, tell me that's not mental pain. Hey man, children love video games. Ima imagine taking away Call of Duty from your child because, because he refused to get better grades in school. I bet you he start getting better grades then because that, that, that mental suffering he's going through. He's missing, out on, on, he's missing out on all those good games that he could possibly get with his friends, you know. He's not, he's not able to participate in, in uh, online tournaments or special events. He's missing out, right? That, well, he's going through some kind of mental pain, you know. So it could be mental pain. It could be emotional. It, it could be physical pain. It could be emotional pain. Pain is how you get people to obey rules. That's the problem. This kingdom does not train people properly to obey the rules. Well, this kingdom don't even carry itself after the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So here under the verb, it says to train someone to obey rules. You train someone to obey rules by, by putting them through pain. Pain teaches people fear, you know? A nigga is not going to just go around running off his mouth to people that he don't know if, if, if he got punched in his mouth. Now, will he? OK, he get punched in his eye. And guess what? He, 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 he going to learn some respect through fear. That's the problem, man. It's easy for somebody to run off of their mouth. When, 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 when it's easy for somebody to run off of their, at their mouth at another person when, when they're not going through pain. But hey, 
You show that person just a little bit of pain and I, I bet you he'll learn some, some respect through fear. Okay. So it says train someone to obey rules or a code of behavior using punishment to correct disobedience. It says the exact same thing up here. So our people despise the discipline of the Holy Scriptures. They despise the law, statutes, and commandments, which in this case will be the rules of the Holy Scriptures. And why is that? Because our people despise discipline. They lack the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So because they lack the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, guess what? They feel like they could just do whatever they want to do, eat whatever they want to eat, say what they want to say. But hey, there's a consequence. There's a consequence for disobedience. Okay, now I got some examples right here. Okay, I typed in discipline in the scriptures. I'm going to read some of these, then close it out. Okay. Okay, so I typed in discipline in the search bar and all these came up. Job chapter 36, verse 10. It says, he opened also their ear to discipline. Okay. So the Lord is the one who opens your ears to obeying the rules of the Holy Scriptures, which the rules will be what? The law, statutes, and commandments. Now, we're not going to be saved on keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, but we keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability through what? Through fearing and having faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, because we are afraid of, of, of what kind of pain the Lord can put you to through because the Lord don't have to put you to death. He can make your life extremely painful. He'll take away your children, your wife, your most favorite family members. You know, he'll make you homeless. You know, he'll, he'll have your car break down on you and cause your woman to leave you. You know, or, or he could just make you paralyzed for the rest of your life. You'll be eating out of a straw, sitting in a wheelchair, talking about some easy accuser, use the music, we do cue them accuser. That the Lord could seriously fuck you up. He don't have to kill you. He could put you in he could put you in in, in in a condition where your life is just full of pain and misery. So we are afraid of what kind of pain the Lord could put us through. And through that fear of the pain of what the Lord could put us through, we fear him. We obey him. We 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 keep their rules, their laws, statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. You know, we hit those highways and hedges because we don't want to be destroyed with, with the rest of the multitude. You know, that's why we do what we got to do, man. That's why we do what we got to do. Was that Ferguson? Nah, I couldn't have been. So it says he opened their ear to, to discipline and commanded that they return from iniquity. And the only way you're going to return from iniquity is if the Lord give you the gift of faith and to fear him. Okay? And, and uh, how, do you, how do you turn from iniquity? Well, what is iniquity? Sin upon sin. What is sin? Sin is transgression of the laws, right? Transgressing the Lord's rules. Okay? That's iniquity. So through fear, through fearing Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you learn to turn from iniquity. You, you start to learn discipline. 
you start to learn to restrict yourself from from uh, from 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 certain things that you know that you cannot do. Otherwise, the Lord can punish you for it. Right. You start to learn those kind of things through fear, through fear of, of, of what kind of pain or misery the Lord can put you through. So you, you, you see, you see how fear and pain and, and discipline aligns with each other. You know, pain teaches fear and fear teaches you to be disciplined. It teaches you to obey certain rules. It teaches you to obey all the rules. In this case, it teaches us to keep the laws, statutes and commandments that we can keep to the best of our ability. Now, let's read another one. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verse five. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. You know, so you, you know, the, the scriptures tell you that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and understanding. When you fear Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you start to understand. You start to understand, you know, he might give you a little understanding here and there to, to the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. But then, you know, you start to understand certain mysteries. You know, the Lord might put you through certain things and and, and you and you might, you know, start to understand some of those breakdowns. Some of the breakdowns of the Holy Scriptures, you cannot understand unless you've been through certain scenarios in your life. You see. Okay, it says, a wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5, it says, it will not abide when unrighteousness cometh, right? Because you're disciplined. You know, you're, you're, you're taught, you're, 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 you're training yourself to obey the law, statutes, and commandments, the word of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, through fear. Okay, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 17. It says, for the very, it says, it says, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, the desire of, of, of uh, obeying the rules. OK, because the Lord, the Lord has pleasure in him to have wisdom. OK, but wisdom cometh through discipline. OK, wisdom cometh through discipline. And the care of discipline is love. Because what is love? Well, Yahweh Shai said it, in, in, I believe it's the book of John, the 17th chapter. Yahweh Shai said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. So discipline is love. Okay? And, and, and love is what? Love is, is, is the fulfilling of the law. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments that you can keep to the best of your ability. That is discipline, brothers. And what is discipline? Discipline is the training, is the uh, training to obey rules through punishment. Okay, that's discipline. And you train somebody to obey rules by putting them through pain whenever they disobey. That's how you train somebody to obey rules. Okay. So discipline is love. Okay, I'll read one more. Ecclesiasticus chapter 4, verse 17. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and, and let's see, 
and bring fear and dread upon him. So at the first, she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him and torment him with her discipline. <laughs> Come on, man. Torment him with her discipline. Okay. And the she is talking about wisdom, which which that's really talking about Yahawashai, because Yahawashai is wisdom. Okay. If you don't have wisdom, you don't have delight. If you don't have delight, you don't have Yahawashai. Okay. What did Yahawashai say in the book of Isaiah? He said, Lo, he come in the volume of the book, it is written of him. Okay. So the holy, the, the whole entire holy scriptures is wisdom. Okay, so it says she would torment him with her discipline. Okay, so so Yahushai, you know, if, if Yahushai is dealing with you, he he he's going to teach you through fear to keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability you know the lord might even put you through certain scenarios that are frightening just just to deepen your fear towards him okay that's how the lord works so he's going to torment you with his discipline until she or you know yahweh who is wisdom may may trust his soul and try him by her laws or try him by his laws you know, Yahweh is wisdom. You see? So you, you see how discipline lines up with obedience? But again, our people despise discipline. And that's why, like it tells you in the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, they are bastards and not sons. The Lord don't care about the two thirds of our people. That's why they're out there doing whatever they want because they're not being disciplined by the heavenly father through his son. But if you're being chastened of the Lord, that means that the Lord cares about you. You know, hey, every day I'm being chastened by the Lord, but hey, the one of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, it's better to be chastened of the Lord than to, than to be condemned with the world. So if, if the Lord is putting you through hell, you should be thanking the heavenly father through his son. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.